English from video games. In-game examples 7. Using the present perfect. From Let's Not Starve. Has anybody seen any grass? Has there anybody seen any grass? We need grass in order to light a fire. I have not I mean, seen this any is all grass. grass. The present perfect is about both the past and the present. But when you use it, you are thinking about the present. You have a present reason for talking about the past. That is very clear in this short example. Has there anybody seen any grass? We need grass in order to light a fire. Jasmine needs some grass to make a fire. So she asks if anyone, before this time, that is, in the recent past, has seen any. Unfortunately, the answer is no. I have not I mean, seen this any is all grass. grass. Next is a really good example. Watch as gamer Fail Race tries to escape from the team of drivers chasing him and a blimp, small wingless airship, in the sky. From GTA 5, has the blimp seen us? Uh, where do we want to go? Where do we want to go? Somewhere quite far away from here, preferably. If we can just travel... We can just travel distance. That's what we need to be doing at the moment. I don't think they know where I am anymore. I think we got far enough away. I can see old blimpers back there. What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Can the blimp see us? Has the blimp seen us? Is a good question. I don't know if it has. If it has, it's not going the right direction. That's generally quite a good sign. Okay, looking good. Did you notice the two questions? Can the blimp see us? Has the blimp seen us? If the answer is yes to the first question, the driver needs to worry. But if the answer is yes to the second question, he really needs to worry. Because that means the chasers probably know where he is. They saw him, past, so they likely know where he is, now. Here is a longer example. It describes how a past experience is relevant or important to the present situation. From City Skylines. I've played City Skylines a lot. Now, if you have never played before, chances are you're probably not watching this video. Chances are uh, you're watching this video if you have played the game a bit already, found it a little frustrating, tried to find a solution, or trying to figure out, like, hey, where did I go wrong? I played City Skylines a lot. I played it a lot, you know, since the game came out. We've had several, you know, massive playthroughs. To summarize, the speaker says he has much experience with this game in the past, so he can help you now. Another common use of the present perfect is to talk about a situation that began in the past and which continues to the present. I've been out here for hours. From Arma 3 DayZ. Oh my god. I'm so cold. I've been out here for hours. I don't think I'm gonna make this. I haven't eaten. Oh. Often the time period is your whole life. This is where we often use the words ever or never. From Fortnite. That's the worst thing I've ever seen happen to me. Bro, we are in between a lot of people right now. Ah, uh, this helicopter is killing me, unfortunately. Dead. That's the worst thing I've ever seen happen to me. I think it's the worst I've ever died. I've never seen this charm before. From Rainbow Six Siege. Let's see what we got here. Oh, what? Is that a charm? Yo, that's sick. I've never seen this charm before. <laughs> Let's finish with a series of short in-game video clips. From Rocket League. I haven't even made a goal yet. One minute remaining, that's it? But I haven't even made a goal yet. From SnowRunner. I've moved the GMC truck. I've moved that GMC, so that won't be in the way anymore. We haven't found any other players yet. From Anno 1800. 
It looks like our ship has reached the uh, northern section. We haven't found any other players yet, so let's well, keep looking fight. around. Only one person has been knocked out from Fall Guys. Still 20 seconds left and only one person has been knocked out. This is insane. Oh, here we go. This is the hard bit. This is the hard bit. Right. Left. Don't get stuck because you get knocked off. Don't get stuck because you get knocked off. Don't get stuck. I think we got this, Sander. Four people have gone. Seven people have gone. Eight people have gone. Nine people. Eleven. Twelve people qualified. Be sure to subscribe. Learn to understand and use real English.